Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in today's video we're going to take a trip beneath the surface to discover some of the common freshwater fish that live in the UK. Let's dive in. The Eurasian minnow is the smallest species that features on this list, growing to a maximum length of just 10 centimetres and a top weight of just 16 grams. Their bodies are torpedo shaped and they have a dark line running down each side from their heads to the base of their tails. In the spring and summer, male minnows that are in breeding condition become a darker colour and have dull patches of red at the base of their fins and under their chins. They are found all across the UK, usually in streams and rivers, but also in standing water such as lakes and ponds. Minnows are omnivores. With their forward-facing mouths they take food from the surface, from the sediment and from in the water column. This food includes insects, crustaceans, plant matter and both their own and the eggs of other fish. Northern pike can grow to almost 5 feet in length and to more than 20 kilos in weight. They are ferocious predators equipped with a paddle-shaped tail that allows them to burst through the water at high speed to catch their prey. This prey can include mammals, water birds, other fish, and sometimes they will even eat each other. They are well camouflaged and lurk amongst aquatic vegetation, using their large eyes to spot unsuspecting prey before snatching it in their mouths full of razor-sharp teeth. Another predatory freshwater fish is the perch. These are much smaller than pike, growing to around 30 centimetres and weighing up to 3 kilos. Perch have tiger-like stripes running down their bodies and their dorsal fin, which stands high on top of their back, is notoriously spiny. When perch are young, they live in small shoals, feeding on invertebrates and crustaceans but as they get bigger, they become more solitary and start to take larger prey, such as amphibians and small fish. Perch are found across the whole of the UK and are common in canals, slow-flowing rivers, lakes and ponds. Gudgeon are a familiar species to many anglers as they are the first fish that most people catch when they start out. Gudgeon only grow to around 15 centimetres and to less than 90 grams. They have downturned mouths and spend most of their time searching the sediment for food. Gudgeon are very common across England, but only sparsely recorded in Scotland and Wales, and there have only been a handful of confirmed records in Northern Ireland. Roach are a rather standard shaped silver fish. They have orange eyes and fins and are common in lakes, ponds, ditches and slow flowing rivers. They can grow to a length of around 35 centimetres and the largest ever recorded in the UK weigh just over 2 kilos. Roach sometimes form massive shoals of similarly sized fish, especially in winter. They have an omnivorous diet that includes invertebrates, crustaceans and aquatic vegetation. Chub are found in flowing waters across all of mainland Britain, but are absent from Northern Ireland. They are streamlined in shape and have a very large mouth which they use for grabbing food as it drifts by in the current. Small chub eat mainly invertebrates and vegetation, but they can get to more than 40 centimetres in length and the larger fish often become more predatory, eating crayfish, amphibians and other small fish. Chub have a dark outline to their tail and dorsal fin, which can be seen from above the surface and sets them apart from other similar looking species. 
Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for in today's video. You may have noticed that I didn't include some of the common species that live in the UK, but that is because I haven't managed to film them yet. Hopefully, I will include them in part two of this video. Now, if you did enjoy this video, you might also like this one here, where I take an underwater look at some of the amphibians of the UK, or this video here, where I discover some of the birds that live along our waterways. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.